lovely. So I'm going to talk about one of the things that I find most frustrating about chronic illness, specifically fibro, because that's what I have, so that's what I know about. Um, it's just, okay, this makes me so frustrated. Um, the thing about it is, is that you feel, let me just talk about it. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so the thing is, is that to become better, or which means not cured, because fibro, whether you've heard this or not, is not curable. Um, those are the people that have been cured from it. I think we're misdiagnosed <laughs> um, because there is no cure for it, unless your brain decides to not have it spontaneously anymore, or God has blessed you with a cure within your body. But um, anyway, so, but the things that can make you feel better in here and in here are getting out to the beach, talking with your friends, getting together for dinner with your friends, um, being able to get out and date, um, treat your your husband or boyfriend or opposite sex. I thought that's just where I go because I'm a woman. Um, the opposite for that, treating them well, um, being able to have an animal and a uh, huge one for me, being able to work, have your in own income, being able to spend a ridiculous stupid amount of money on a freaking purse and not having to worry about, oh, the taxpayers paid for this and I can't, I can't put money into it because that would be not responsible, even though I'm an adult and I'm sick, so I deserve this money. No. Um, the things that you can do to be able to do those things are all things that are wonderful, brilliant, amazing, yet, and even, I don't know if anybody's, um, well, probably actually a lot of you have, but it, just anybody that has a chronic, like, um, I hurt my, uh, ankle when I played tennis. I just like blacked out there. And I remember having to be out of it. I had to go in and get it iced and I had to have it wrapped. And it was just like all this work I had to put into not playing tennis. And it was like, holy crap, like you have to do all this work. But at the end of it, you come back and you're strong and you can play and you don't feel set back. And um, you can get in the game a little bit sooner than if you had just like eaten chips and not done anything about it and kept the swelling down like it would have gotten like lots worse and blah 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 so but in the case of fibro if you get out and do those things you then are stuck in bed for two weeks which is called a fibro flare and that's what happens a lot of time after you do something fun or exercise or exerting yourself in any type way emotionally or physically What's really frustrating about that is it's this constant two, step for, two steps forward momentarily and then like eight steps back. And then once you start that, then it's like, okay, then four steps forward, which keeps you is behind now, ten steps back. And then it's like, it's just this backwards game and you're never getting ahead of, and I'm, I mean, with illness, you're never going to be back to that, like, two steps forward type thing. But at least, like, it's not just this, like, backwards thing, backwards thing. And that's what um, I've been going through now because after the 12-hour drive, which I knew was going to be bad on me, but I didn't know it was going to be as bad as it was. And um, so now I've just been stuck in bed for so long that if I do go out and do something fun, like I did couple days ago when I got to see my mom pops and stuff and I was up late and um, I wasn't on my schedule of like taking my medicine when I needed to at like eight o'clock you know I was out till I think I got home at like midnight and you know and then that's when I took my medicine I haven't been sleeping well since it's just this like domino effect of things that happen and it's really really frustrating especially when you don't have those things that get you through that like my two months of being in bed I really really heavily relied on my internet family and friends being able to communicate through there to be able to edit videos to um, talk to people to um, play games um, 
and I really, really heavily relied on that, and <clears throat> I think it's good every once in a while to get that shaken up, but at this point, I've had my computer now not for like, I don't know, it feels like two weeks, but it's probably been, well, no, actually, it probably has been, and that's probably been like a week. No, well, maybe two weeks. I don't know how long it has been, but it's been a freaking long time. Um, but it's, it is, because that's why, I, um, I will do a video on why I fast things, because I know I've just thrown that out there a couple times. Like, I did the no makeup fast, and I did the Facebook fast, uh, Facebook and Twitter fast. Um, but I will tell you guys why exactly in depth I do that. But I think it is good to notice if you are relying on something a little bit too much and say, hey, I'm going to fast that and see where we get with that. And it, sometimes it'll surprise you, sometimes it won't. Like the Facebook thing I've done before and it would profoundly, profoundly um, just influence my life. And then when I did it the second time, it just was like, now I'm just out of the loop with everything that kind of sucks now because um, I never check it, I never go on it, I never post stuff to it anymore. So um, it kind of sucks. Like I'm kind of just out of the loop and not in communication with people. But uh, it's just I got out of the habit of doing it because I was fasting it. But, you know, sometimes like when you say like, oh, maybe I'm on the computer too much, let me fast it for a month or so. And... Generally, like, it'll suck at first, but then by the end of it, you know, you, well, you will have your own reasons, but for me, you reconnect with your faith a lot more, and, um, you just realize, like, oh, wow, that was really in the way of me being with people or doing whatever it is that you would like to be doing more. Um, in my particular situation, it has not been helpful um, my faith actually became stronger since, uh, when I was communicating with people a lot more because I tend to, when I'm locked up in my room and not sleeping well, I tend to get very depressed. And when I get depressed, I get into this, like, Old Testament type thing where, like, God is smiting me and, like, <laughs> I'm sick because I'm a sinner and I'm sick because I'm a bad person and... I like, I get out of control. I'm like, I'm so sorry, God. Like, please just give my life to somebody who deserves it because I have such a blessed life. And, um, yeah, so it turns real bad real quick. So, um, but when I had my computer, I could talk to my family and say, like, this is how I'm feeling. And, like, you know, what do you think about this? And they'd be like, that's really stupid. Not, like, they wouldn't obviously say it that way. They're, like, the kindest, sweetest people. But, um they would just be like, no, that's like, what are you talking about? Like, God loves you and we love you and like, you brighten our day every day, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they just flatter me pretty much, no. Um, but it's just really frustrating when like, say I have an okay day and it's just like, it's this fear factor of like, okay, well, I could go out and get lunch with so-and-so, but then I'm going to be sick for... I don't know how long, like really sick. Um, and it's just like this balancing act of like how sick will be really sick and like how sick will it be today or should I just rest up more or is the longer I'm in bed going to be mean that when I go out it's more work um, to just walk around or just do anything like that because you do have muscles and then you do lose muscle mass and you lose um, endurance and all sorts of other things. So it's tough. I don't have any answers, so if you were looking for answers in this, I'm sorry. Accept my apology, because, well, if you're watching this vlog for answers, probably should look somewhere else. But, it's only two people away from having an awesome giveaway. I think two people away. Once I have 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway, which I am actually looking very much forward to. Um, so, yes, it can be female or male there are more female things because hey I'm a girl and that's stuff I like but if you have a wife or children or something like that I'm sure they would appreciate it even though I was gonna say Father's Day is coming up but no that doesn't really work out so great or you can use them like face masks guys can use them yeah um but yeah just keep that in mind if you're someone that watches my videos every day just hit the subscribe button anyways and you might get a giveaway on top of 
And just because you're in it does not mean like you have to give me your address or something like that. Like I will privately message you and if you don't want to be part of it, like just say, mm, give it to somebody else. <laughs> um, so don't worry about that. But I hope you guys are enjoying your day and having a pain-free, stress-free day. And I love you guys. And I'm sending out X-double O's and I will talk to you tomorrow.